before we get to Stun 2 and News, let me just tell you about a very weird day that I had yesterday. Came home from the show. I was at the studio a little bit late. Folks, you saw me at the studio. I was finishing up some stuff a little bit later than when Mraz and, and Bilotti were there. So I got home a little later than I would have thought, and I end up crashing for a little bit. So it's, it's later in the afternoon than when I normally get a nap and if I get a nap in. And I wake up to multiple missed phone calls from unknown 212 numbers. And I'm like, that's weird. Unknown numbers, unlisted. I don't have them on my phone, but 212 is the New York City area code and basically our building. And I'm like, what? What's going on? Never a good thing. So my heart sinks. I'm like, did I miss a meeting? Was I scheduled to do a show? Was I... What happened here? I got like four or five missed phone calls from two different 212s. I'm like, oh, this is not good. So I wake up and I start scrambling on my phone. Nobody's texting me anything specific. So then I go and I check my voicemails. And my first voicemail is from Alan. Okay, so let me play the first phone call that I checked that I got yesterday after I woke up. VA, hi, uh, this is Alan with the legal team. Um, things may have an issue that needs correcting immediately. I'll give you the details when we chat, but uh, it is imperative that you get back to me right away. Uh, the corporate office would like to get this rectified. The number here is 212. Uh, again, I stress this is important, so please call me as soon as you get this. Thanks. So we, we took out the phone number on that because obviously it's a, it's a legal phone number for our legal department. But I'm like, oh, no. What did I do? What happened here? I've got a phone call from legal coming in. It's imperative. Great. So then, what's the next phone call? Here's another voicemail that I got. This is from somebody else in corporate. Hi, Damon. This is Laura in the legal department. Um, Alan has attempted to reach you today. We'd like to schedule a Zoom meeting by the end of business today. Uh, please return this message. It's important. Thanks. And so, of course, my heart's sinking. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I text our boss, Spike Eskin, PD. He's like, hey, yeah, could you definitely call them back? Like something popped up today that they caught and they want to talk to you. So I call them up and they're all a flutter about the PGP. They're like, you guys do a show that's not on the air. I'm like, yeah, we we do a podcast. They're like, okay, so this was not on the air. I'm like, no, this is a podcast about the show. They're like, well, it's come to our attention that somebody used vulgarity on the PGP. And I'm like, really? They're like, yes. Is it your producer, Sean? And I said, yeah, that's, that's my producer. And Alan was like, well, this needs to be rectified because this wasn't cleared through corporate. We've got complaints about vulgarity being used on the PGP. And I'm like, whoa, I taped it. What happened? I hadn't heard side B yet. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? They play for me a clip. And it's Mraz saying what appears to be the S-bomb. And... I don't know if you just didn't catch this, Mraz. I don't know if if you had any idea, but sure enough, they, they played it for me and rewound it, and I'm like, wow. I didn't... Let me... Why don't, why don't we play this clip, maybe, and maybe we'll beep it out or something like that, people. Play the clip that's in question. We had built a bar during pandemic that was outside, a very small, just, you know, four-seater bar... We didn't want to get rid of it because for her and I, we weren't handy. We had built some shit. Let's move it inside. Let's do it in that room. And she has now turned it into, you know, an, a feel of an outdoor room. We have a grass wall and oh. lights everywhere. And, and we're Mraz. calling it Taylor's Tavern and Peyton's Place. It's come out really nice. nice. Very nice. says built some bleep. He said we had built some bleep. And I'm like, I, I'm sorry. I didn't know. They're like, well, why did you publish this? Don't you have anybody listening? And I'm like, yeah, I I do. I was there. And this is a conversation that I had with Mraz, and it, it went over my head. And they're like, well, why 
why did you still publish this? And I'm like, it's sorry, it's an oversight. And they were they were really upset about this. Play this again, Bilotti, because I can see the look on Mraz's face like he didn't even know that he said this. But sure enough, he says, build some bleep. We had built a bar during pandemic that was outside, a very small, just, you know, four-seater bar. We didn't want to get rid of it because for her and I, we weren't handy. We had built some shit. Let's move it inside. Let's do it in that room. And she has now turned it into, you know, an, a feel of an outdoor room. We have a grass wall it. and lights I mean, everywhere. You heard it right and, there. And we're calling it Taylor's Tavern and Peyton's Place. It's come out really nice. nice. Very nice. Built some bleep. Built some bleep. And so, Mraz, I'm dealing with a headache of legal yesterday because they're like, why'd you guys publish a podcast with curses on it and not not clear it? Is this for real? Is that not the PGP? It is, but I don't even talk like that. What do you mean you don't talk like that? I don't, not, I've never used the you. word built some bleep in my life. There has to be another word. I got to pull the PGP and hear what's going on because this sounds a lot like unpipe it. Well, I encourage any listener. This is, by the way, interesting. Listeners are usually all over this type of stuff. The aliens always are like, hey, where's this podcast? What's this upload? Did you catch this? He said that. And nobody brought this to my attention until legal did. I mean, Pete, play this one more time. Just that that really short clip. Mraz says, build some bleep. He doesn't say, it, it's pretty clear, build some bleep. We didn't want to get rid of it because for her and I, we weren't, Handy, we had built some shit. Let's move it inside. Let's do it in that room. And I mean, Mraz, you say it right there. Let's we built some bleep. I, I cannot comment on this until I hear back the original because I I I like I'm just telling you, I don't even talk like that in real life. Bill it's you, gotta be built you, something you else that I mistake in the word for. What do you mean you don't talk like that in real life? I've definitely heard you curse in real no, life. No, I'm not saying I'm I'm above cursing. What I'm saying is like I don't when people reference Bill, I, I've heard people, yeah, yeah, like some bleep. Like, that's just not in my vocabulary. It's not in your vocabulary. No, like the S word is in my vocabulary, but not in the way it's being said here. That's so weird to me. What is going on? Well, and why didn't anybody call me? me? Yeah, what's weird to me, DA, is me and Pete and Mike Biseglia used to do a similar type podcast for the Geo and Jones show. About, you know, it, was a, it was about the show, behind the scenes stuff, and we recorded it and loaded it. And there were times where I feel like Biseglia was the most guilty of this. Like there would be a random cursor or two in there, and all you had to do was click. There's like an explicit button as you're loading the podcast in our system. You can click a button so the listener knows that there might be a word or two in there that they don't want to hear. I'm assuming no one clicked that button because no one heard this in real time. But like that's still that seems still like not that big of a deal. Like I'm with Sean here. Why are they so bothered by this? Well, I think that CBS Sports Radio has a certain brand and the brand is you know not vulgarity, not well, cursing. And so and we do this, have new bosses and new lawyers since Two Guys, One podcast existed. Absolutely right. Also, post-pandemic, I think they're, everybody's worried about losing money due to fines or this, that, or the other thing, staying inside. So I had to deal with this fallout yesterday. Whereas I hope this is on your plate today. Obviously, I was going to take the phone calls, do the Zoom meetings, all of that. But this is – I'm going to shift this over to you because I didn't oh, say please it. do. You should have been, you should have been the one that understood the publishing, you know, responsibilities there. And I can, I'll ask Pete this. I mean, Pete, who did this fall on that Mraz curses on the PGP and now legal's crawling up my butt? Well, it would be the line of defense. It would be it would be Sean and whomever po uh, posts the podcast. Who's Mraz? Correct. So Mraz cursed and published the podcast. Hey, look, if, if that's what happened, it's fun. I don't understand. They all have my number. And also, it must not have been too big deal because I just went and I'm able to download it right now. They have the power to take down everything. Why wouldn't they take it down right away? I don't know. But, I mean, why would you curse on the PGP? I have no idea. I, I do the PGP every week and don't curse. I, well, can, I, I don't, I'm getting like a curse? pen attack. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't want to get rid of it because for her and I, we weren't. Handy, we had built some shit. Let's move it inside. Let's do it in that room. And she. What's that look on your face? 
I don't. I, I just know me. I don't. I don't. I don't reference building some bleep. Andy, we had built some. Sh- let's move it inside. Let's do it in that room. And I feel like I need, like you need to go to break to pull this and see what like there has to be something screwed up here. What? Yeah, you screwed up. You said the s word. Andy, we had built some. Sh- let's move it inside. Let's do it in that room. Why wouldn't they? Call I mean, me? what else could you have been saying there? Like nothing else makes sense. You didn't build a, build a shanty. I mean, we built sheds. We built some seats. But you didn't build a shed, right? No, we did do that as well, and we built seats. So maybe you were thinking shed, but you said the other word? Because you don't say we built some shed. We built that. We built some sh- I think it could be shed, man. I'm telling you. I don't talk like that. But you were I also think... talking about that you brought it inside because you liked it because right. you built it. So you wouldn't have brought a shed inside no, I, I've, for that and, reason. And you're right. And I might have mistaken because we brought the bar inside and I was just going through everything we built. And I nothing. this isn't – I feel like completely blindsided right now. I don't, Andy, we had built some shit. Let's move it inside. Let's and do it I don't room, understand and... why if they thought I cursed, they would leave it on right now if it was that big a deal to call you. And I don't understand why they wouldn't call me if it's me who said it. It's not like I'm hard to find. Well, I think it was because I woke up late in the day. It was late in the in the business day. It was nearing five o'clock. Well, what so does that mean? Now I, I I'm I'm not around at five o'clock. Well, they probably no, they, wanted they probably want to go to DA first and then right. talk to you. Right. Why wouldn't they go to the person who's the producer that publishes it and said it? Because my well, name is on, the, who does on that. the show. Right. Okay. So anyway, if you could just not curse on podcast, that would help my life out quite a bit. Okay. Did any of the other D aliens catch this? Tweet at me. DA on CBS. It's about the 30 minute mark in the pod. The 30 minute mark in the podcast basically is when this thing happens. Andy, we had built some. Sh- let's move it inside. Let's do it in that room. And just so offhanded, just cursing on the pod. I mean, can you at least just clean it up for the kids here, Moraz? There's kids that listen, <laughs> families. <laughs> I, I gotta listen to this. I'm like totally thrown off. Raz, have you gone back and listened to the clip? Yeah, I said shed, and I stopped as I was saying shed because I realized it doesn't matter. That's not what we were moving. We were moving the bar. You said Andy, you... we had built some. Sh- let's move it inside. Let's do it now. Yeah, room, you, when you play with the bleep, everybody in America is going to assume that's what I said was it. I did not say the s word. I was processing all the things that me and my wife had built in real. As I'm mushing my brain together, I said we had built some sheds. Well, a shed. And that was just the way I was talking. And then I realized I stopped as I was saying because that doesn't matter. We built the bar. We moved the bar inside. I was Andy, mixing up the things we built. Some, let's move it inside. That's let's the way my brain and... works. I didn't built say the S word. Some shed. Who yeah, we, we built, built some shed. Like like the, here, here's some <laughs> shed we built. Here's some shed. Here's the thing. Me and my wife had only built a bar, this little shed, and seats. So when we were talking about moving, what we had done during the pandemic to move inside, that's what my brain was processing. And then I stopped because I realized. Well, we didn't move that inside. We moved the bar inside. So I built some shed. That's what I said. And then I, like, I cut it off quick. So it was like that. And I kept moving. That's how I say it. Well, Who says can... built some shed? Like some shed. Like Because it wasn't that nice. Like this is just like I was referencing this is what we did during the pandemic. We built the bar. We built some shed. Built some seats. Tell it to legal, okay? Today I after the show, I'm tell going, it to legal. I'm going right back to the office in the break. Convince, convince Allen and legal. Last hour on the show, I played for you a couple of voicemails that I got yesterday from the legal department around here. You guys are not happy. They caught what they thought was perhaps a curse word by Mraz during the PGP. Darren tweets, can you imagine researching to figure out who to call to report someone saying the S word? What a joke your legal department is. Mariana says, what snitches brought this to the attention? I don't know. I don't know, but they caught it. JDM, Sleep Dr. Joe tweets, Easy DA, Mraz has just given legal hey, a taste. Chris tweets, got to be honest, this is overkill on berating Mraz. He clearly feels bad. He's worrying because he hasn't heard from legal yet. No need to pile on him. You're only worried about yourself and how it affects you, DA. David tweets, once I heard of the story, I went back to the PGP. It was still on my queue. I missed it the first time, but he definitely says the S word. Mariana reminds us, should we circle back to Mraz not knowing about the FCC? Corby writes, I just listened to the PGP. Mraz definitely says the S word. 
he does not say shed. Chad tweets, at least Mraz didn't reference the owl poop as the S word. That's making progress, right? Patrick tweets, what is this crap? I thought it was going to be a fun segment, not one about legal being its old anal self. So you could say crap instead? Yes, for the record, crap is okay. The S word is not. Kurt says, I think it's an unpipe it moment. I hear we built something. Move it inside. I think in classic Mraz's form, he just mushed good words together. Headley says, nah, D.A., Merez definitely said it. It was there. He needs to go read the book Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink. It might, it might do him a little good. <sighs> okay. So this is going on. Jeffrey says, no, I think Merez said shed. It's just a podcast, not general AM, FM airwaves. You've got to seek it out and subscribe. Look, I don't know what to tell you guys. Mraz, how you doing over there? I've, I've heard that this has been a tough couple of segments. Yeah, it's just I'm furious right now. Absolutely furious. At? Uh, our company. I would say the listeners now. And I, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little angry with you as well. For? I think if this was a big deal and legal was leaving voicemails on you and I was didn't hear from them, that I think as a friend and a colleague you should have called me first. And not ambushed me on the air with it. So now listeners go and draw attention and think I'm saying a word I did not say. Pete, play this for me just one more time here. Let's just, for one last thing. Mraz says he said shed here. Okay. We had built a bar during pandemic that was outside. A very small, just, you know, four-seater bar. We didn't want to get rid of it because for her and I, we weren't handy. We had built some shit. Let's move it inside. Let's do it in that room. And you said... you. S- think you said shed but maybe caught yourself midway yeah i was saying shed and then i realized it that didn't even matter so i was doing what i typically do where i just stop myself mid thought and kind of mush it up together but i didn't actually say the that word nor would i sound like that cap clip to to a shot of the the control room during the commercial break were you throwing the chair i had a little bit of a fit i was very angry you're throwing things? Yeah, I mean, yes, this is my livelihood. And people in legal thinking I'm saying a word that I have no reputation of saying on the air and not coming to me with it, and then I'm blindsided on the air with it, of course. <laughs> Pete, Pete, what's he been saying to you the last couple of segments? Oh, we can't really say it on the air. <laughs> Words that been, I wouldn't say on the PGP, I've been saying. Have you been playing therapist back there, Pete? I, we need a couch in the control room. I just, you know, I, we, got, we got 13 feet of snow coming. I'm on another three hours sleep, and I'm getting blindsided on the air about legal, legal at our company, thinking I said a word that I didn't say, and they didn't care to call me. It's upsetting to me, yes. 13 feet? <sighs> Look, I got news for you, Mraz. You're off the hook. I made the whole thing up. Those were not legal department <laughs> voicemails. <laughs> couldn't have said that five minutes after the prank <laughs> that, that was hard <laughs> that was hard yeah that the was... fcc doesn't care the fda is still a little annoyed by your dairy take but the fcc is cool with you that was and pete will tell you now as angry as ever been a da yes. i called da some worse words than supposedly i would have said there I actually said he was dead to me, and I was going to call him after the show. Wow. And then I followed up by saying, actually, it's not my job to call him. As a good friend for that long, he ambushes me like that. Bleep this. Bleep him. Bleep this. And that's the cleaned up way of... uh... There was a DA is dead to me in there? I was done with you, man. I was, like, legitimately done with you. Like, done with you. Because I thought, if this was accurate... This was handled so terribly to not call me last night and have all the listeners say what they think they heard. I, I, we didn't want to get rid of it because for her and I, we weren't handy. We had built some shit. Let's move it inside. Let's do it in that room. And <laughs> I'm driving home yesterday. Listen to the PGP. I'm like, did Mraz say the S word? And I texted all these guys. And I said, did Mraz say the S word in here? And Cap, of course, always stirring the pot, says, unless he was building a shed... Yes, he said the S word. So I listened, and I thought that you said shed, and I said this is a good bit to get Mraz on 
So I had a couple of friends leave me the quote unquote voicemail, sent it to Pete last <laughs> night. Pete put it in the system, got the clip, bleeped it out so that it sounded like you said the S word. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the other thing I said to Pete. I said, DA playing these voicemails is actually far worse. <laughs> well, I, I will say this. The the first one uh, was Andy. Uh, Alan. 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 Is that uh, Andrew Catalan? It is not, no. Who, uh, because I thought he would catch the voice because the voice has been familiar. I know. I, I had to make sure I got a guy that I knew that we hadn't used on the air before. That is the vo- the voice of the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, Andy Demetra. I've had dinner with him, too. <laughs> <laughs> it should also be noted, I already saved Hour 3 and cut that whole bit out to try to scrape that from the tapes, and I replaced the audio on the PGP and completely edited that out as well. That's what people are saying, that you edited out the PGP? <laughs> yeah, because if legal hasn't come to me yet, I'm, I'm erasing everything. And the entire, now I have to resave Hour 3 for people to listen to because I completely scrubbed out that segment because that's how pissed I was. <laughs> now is now is Laura, is Laura Mrs. Amendolara? No, no. I knew that he would know my wife's. He would know the Bourbon Bell's voice. So I had to find a friend, a friend's wife who he had never met. So that, that, I, had to, I had to go deep into my Rolodex because I'm like, Mraz knows all my friends that I could use to do this bit for. <laughs> no, no, knows the voice. I already emailed our former program director, Eric Spitz, asking how he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> DA, this bit has managed all to has make you in the do last more minutes. work. I was planning my <laughs> DA show exit plan. That's how upset I was. With you. You've <laughs> never done this much work in 20 minutes. You edited a podcast. <laughs> yeah, really. You prepped post show things, writing emails. It's down an hour. I mean, I got kids' mouths to feed. It's not my own fat mouth. Now, what, what would you think? And I'm like, if DA is this distrustworthy, you can't call me last night. I need out. Eric, how you doing? <laughs> Off the serious I go. Well, so you didn't think that you were going to get fired. You were going to quit the show. I mean, I wouldn't quit without money, but this was this moment I just lived was I can no longer trust DA and I need to look elsewhere. <laughs> Man, out of this entire bit, my biggest mistake was I didn't have Bilotti recording Mraz off the air. I would love to hear the... DA's dead to me. I'm out of here. How could he do this? He ambushed me. That audio would have been the best audio ever. If I could work for a guy for that long and he gets calls from legal about me and doesn't call me and ambushes me on the air with it, that was it. I was I was done <laughs> with with who I am on this show. Oh my god, that's great. Of course. That's not how I would handle this. Of course. I, I would, I would hope know. so, but oh, how was I supposed to take it? And by the way, <laughs> the rest of the producers no longer have an escape key on the keyboard. It broke off. <laughs> oh, you broke the escape key on the keyboard? I slammed the keyboard and it f- flew off, and it's not on right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my that, God, Pete. What was the worst thing Mariah said about me? No, I you see, it, it wasn't the I think it was slamming the keyboard. That was the worst thing that happened <laughs> in here. Because when you slam the keyboard, that's when I said to you, I think it's time to do this. <laughs> yeah, Pete actually texted me last segment and said, hey, I think you should break it to Mraz. He's really throwing things around here. And then he said, I've got to be Mraz's therapist. Do we at least have footage from Cap, like like a silent movie of Sean's anger? <laughs> yeah. he's, Pete's he's leaving got... out the part where he told me, well, let me know if you go anywhere. I'll be your producer. <laughs> 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 the mass exodus <laughs> we were all out now that was your chance Connor and they were all here by next Monday yeah well Cap had you on during the commercial break there's there's like silent footage of you <laughs> being so upset I still don't know how to process this prank but you guys are gonna get something bad back I'll tell you that it's gonna be a good sport now but it's gonna be something up my sleeve you do gotta watch out for saying things that do sound like a curse because that did sound like you could, you did curse. Uh, yeah if you tell yourself it's that word you're gonna hear that word there's no t at all at i wasn't all. telling myself i was listening to a podcast and said i think we just cursed there but see, like, you're saying I should know you would never handle it that way. You should know me. I'm not going to say I just built some bleep. Like, that's not what I would say. Well, would, why would her you say? and I, we weren't handy. We had built some shit. Let's move it inside. Let's we do it in that room. We had built some and... shed? Like, as Be- though shed is, is shorthand for 
Just some stuff? Because if we stuff. take you inside my convoluted mind, what I'm doing there is I'm putting myself back in that place with me and Daniel building things. We had the bar, we had the shed, we had the chairs, and, like, I'm just regurgitating that and then realizing, whoa, we're moving the bar in there. Why am I even saying shed? So I cut myself off, and it just becomes a mushed thing. I don't know. I almost would rather have you said the curse word because what you say you said still makes less sense to me <laughs> than just cursing. But that's the that's where my defense sucks because I understand that it doesn't make sense why I'm saying that, but I'm trying to explain my brain. Well, let me, let me speak for you. I, I think he was in his thought. <laughs> I think he was in a thought, and and he was speaking out loud his thought. That's, oh, I think, what happened there. That's exactly right. Oh, I just wish we had the audio of Marez cussing me out behind the scenes. It was bad, man. Cap like, I'll is, admit, it was bad. Cap Andy, is running. we built some shit. Let's move it inside. Let's do it in that room. Man. Cap is running the video of you <laughs> slamming the chair and stomping side to side <laughs> in the control room. Oh, it's so good. And Pete stopped me from going to Spike's office, our boss, too. I was going right back, hat in hand. Yeah, the only thing is I got to blame Spike. I reached out to him to leave me a fake voicemail as well, and he never got back to me on that. That would have been the coup de grace. Oh, oh my heart <laughs> has been through a lot of emotions right now. If, if I'm apologizing for not laughing right now, you guys don't understand the emotional roller coaster that just existed in me. I mean, I, I'm leaving emails about you know trying to butter up the old bosses. I can't believe you emailed Spitz within 20 minutes of this. Marez emailed our old boss, trying to get in good graces in a new company. I didn't ask for a job. It was just how you doing. Hope all's well. You couldn't even wait until after the show to look for another job. No, I was done. You did it during hour three. This. <laughs> and as I said, edited out that entire segment so that listeners on a podcast would never be able to hear it. There was a lot that went on in those breaks. Hey, Eric, you got a shovel? I uh, hope you're okay this weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, you've never been more productive. We need really? to give you this kind of kick in the butt every once in a while to get some stuff no, done No, we don't. Here. No, we don't. This is stressful times. And we had Thirsty Thursday. We were also positive into the weekend, and you guys ruined me like this. I still am. <laughs> <laughs>